Um, I think the program uh, promises uh, some surprises and some very, very good music. This is a concert to memorialize what happened on 9-11. In particular, to memorialize the lives that were lost that day. Almost 3,000 people murdered. They left their homes to do their jobs and never came back. It's also a memorial for the people who, the families of the people of the deceased victims and the loved ones of those people. That's who we're talking about tonight. That's who we're remembering and always keep that in mind. Now, um, the first piece is my piece that I wrote about my emotions on that day, 9-11, because I was down there. I came up out of the subway. It was a beautiful day, not unlike the morning that we had today. It was a, it really essentially the same. Crisp, bright, blue sky. And I came up out of the subway. People rushing around me. And the music that I wrote, I hope, will give you that feeling of my emotions on that day. The first thing I saw were people running around, going to work in dreamlike state. And a man stopped me on the corner and he said, did you hear about the North Tower? And I said, no. And he said, a plane has hit the North Tower. And I thought it was an accident. I remember reading about a bomber, a B-29 in the 40s that crashed into the Empire State Building. I thought it was the same kind of thing. But nonetheless, I was curious. So I walked up to Liberty Square. And again, I see people running and going to work and not really stopping and looking at what I think everyone assumed was a, an accident. And then as I was standing there, I see another plane go by, make a circle, and crash into the second tower. And I knew that our world had changed. People began to scream. They began to run. Um, in the distance, I began to hear sirens as it got closer and closer. Um, I went back to my office at that point, which was at 30 Wall Street on the 12th floor, um, to reconnoiter and to figure out what we were going to do. Um, it was a wild and woolly time getting back to the office because people were, uh, had already realized that something was happening that was uh, monumental, catastrophic. And then a little bit later on, as I'm sitting in my chair and watching it on television, the towers come down. And it felt like they were bombing the city. It knocked me out of my chair. Um, gave me really a, 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 a jolt. I jumped up and I said to everybody, now we've got to get going. We've got to, um, got to get out of here. Um, I don't know what kind of people would do something like this. I thought in my mind that question, well, who would do this? Who would do this? Why would they do it? What, what, what's, the, what's the point? What, 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 are they, what are they doing? We made filter, coffee filters to cover our face because outside was completely dark. The ash had floated down and continued to float down and you couldn't see really your hand in front of your face. We then made it downstairs climbed over a fence because the landlord and all his wisdom had locked all the doors and gates. We headed toward the East River because that's where everything was piling, everybody was going. I noticed a lot of people crying. I noticed a lot of people very, very upset. Um, and we headed up the East Side. And as I was going, I noticed people handing out water people in shouting encouragement. And I thought, you know, this is the New York I know where people have hope and want to help and they'll aspire to a greater day. It took me three hours to get home on the west side. Um, I turned on the radio to listen to what was going on and I was so tired and so emotionally drained that I fell asleep. Before I play my music, it has been a tradition of mine to play a short Chopin prelude, which I believe um, has the certain somberness that conveys my sadness of that day. 
It was the only music that Chopin, uh, uh, it was the only piano music that was played at Chopin's funeral. And it's a very <laughs> short little prelude. And after I finish that, then I will play my music. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 